Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, man. We are live. Hopefully, we'll go up on DC TV. I'll say live now. DC TV. TV us? Question mark. And if you're just joining us, uh, we are live to well, cover don't you know? the possible launch of Discover. What's the story on this uh, this satellite? So the Discover is a pretty cool observatory. It's a deep space observatory. So it's going to spend about 110 days. Let me hear my voice here. Yeah, sorry about that. It'll fix itself here shortly. Um, um, it'll spend 110 days traveling out. I forget how far to where it's going. And I echo chamber. Yeah, just keep talking. Keep talking. You got I keep it. talking. Can I hear my voice? It's driving me insane. When does it stop, Ryan? Uh, as soon as Skype gets around to recognizing that Skype, it's your voice. make it stop. Please. Uh, you know what? I don't know where, where to get the feed here. Somebody will... Uh... You just you go to SpaceX. Well, I, w- I went to SpaceX.com. SpaceX. And clicked on com. watch live webcast. Yeah, I don't see anything that says watch so live. It says watch live. See the thing that says watch the big white button? Oh, this they is just, more no, information. Wait, yeah, it just changed. Wait. Watch video. Wait, wait. It was, wait. Oh, see, you can't. Yeah, click oh. on the, see the text. See, click you're, watch. You're right, now, Andrew. Click. That was so simple and obvious. We I totally should have known to wait. The land balloon at 151%. <laughs> Um, we are no go for a launch attempt today. Copy no all go. ELC. No go. They just clock. called it. And stop all auto sequences. Clock but, is well, glad we could all be here. Oh, um, dude, what a special moment! Remember when we got there just in time for them to call this the, the launch? <laughs> the auto sequences that should. Be um. So the Discover <laughs> launch, the Discover satellite, it's the Deep Space Climate Observatory, Countdown and this thing has been taken forever to get this out into space. Uh, first proposed back in 1998. When we had a vice president, Al Gore, um, it was originally intended to be Earth observation, but now it's much, much more than that. Space weather, all sorts of cool stuff. Right on. Well, I guess, I guess when's the next window if this one, since this one didn't work? Um, probably the next couple of days or so. Um, they've got a, they've got a really good tight turnaround on that so i mean this was originally was going to be sunday then it got booted to today so you know it was a 48 hour turnaround on that you know there's there's a narrow narrow launch window for it itself but i think that just is more daily based so probably the next couple of days um and you know what's cool though is if you go to our new favorite website spacexstats.com you can see upcoming missions and coming up is a really cool in march they're going to test the Dragon and do an in-flight abort for the flu- the flight crew escape system. Holy cow. So this would be, they would launch a rocket and then scream, oh crap, let's get the people off of it. And they would jettison the um, uh, the, the, the capsule and uh-huh. have it rocket safely to the planet. Yeah. And so they'd fire the eight Super Draco engines before it would splash down off the coast of California. Holy cow. That's awesome. That's at Vandenberg, so I'm going to try to check that out. Dude. All right. Well, um, thanks for everyone being there. <laughs> we'll uh, we be, can all be here. Uh, as soon as we know when the next launch is, we'll do our best to be there so that we can cover it live together. Uh, thank you, SpaceX. And thank you, uh, uh, Bryce, for being there to uh, to focus on all that stuff. Very cool. Thank you, Twitter, for freezing. Um, yeah. Thank you, Twitter. It's a good show. Good job, team. Yeah. I like to think we hit the... the